Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Now, say you're doing some graphics design project. Say you're doing maybe a flyer that has a lot of text in it. You also want to do some interesting graphical effect, so you must do this in an image editing program. However, image editing programs tend to not have very great support for text entry. Of course, this is also supposing you don't have a program like Microsoft Publisher or Adobe InDesign. You basically just have a simple editing program like Photoshop or GIMP and you want to actually put in a large amount of formatted text. Here is an interesting and elegant way of doing that. Lay out all your text nicely in a word processor. For example, Microsoft Word will do nicely. Then save that to a PDF file. The magic is in actually importing the PDF into your image editor. That's right, your image editor actually takes in a PDF file. I'm not sure if this is a feature that you've actually used or know about. Personally, it came as quite a big surprise when I realized that, you know, that was actually possible. You'll probably be asked which page of the PDF you want to import. And more importantly, because a PDF file tends to have a lot of vector elements, you can also scale up the page to whatever size you like. What this means is you could actually generate a very high resolution reproduction of your PDF file right into your image editor, which you can then manipulate like any other layer. Of course, the slight downside of doing this is that the moment your PDF file is imported, you won't be able to edit the text anymore. So what this means is you do have to get your text right. You have to be very sure that, you know, all the text is exactly correct the way you want it before you bring it into your image editing program. But once you've done that, you can manipulate it like any other layer. And there you have it. That's all there is for this episode. I hope this tip is helpful to you. But until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Hello, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget I appreciate every like, favorite, and comment you give me. If you'd like to see more from me in the future, don't forget to subscribe. For more updates outside of YouTube, do follow my official Twitter account at 0612TV. And if you'd like to see more of my work, you can also check out my About Me page. Once again, thank you very much for watching and until next time, you're watching 0612TV.